hello, hello, hello. Sorry, y'all, I am about a half hour late, but I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I thought I made it. And today I'm going to be painting this cute little pumpkin with y'all. Well, it's not really too little. It's kind of a good size pumpkin. Uh, picked it up from Walmart the other day. $5.98. So a $6 pumpkin we're going to turn into something stunning and beautiful. Um, I had to run to Walmart because I had to get me some of this. This is called Treasure Gold. I usually use the liquid gold. I make a liquid leaf from Hobby Lobby. But... I didn't make it a Hobby Lobby, so we're going to use that. Again, y'all, this is the Treasure Gold, so I'm hoping that it works just as good. Hey, Cut and Dry, Ms. Teresa. Hey, Gina. Hey, Tammy. So we're going to turn this beautiful little pumpkin into something amazing. Um, let me move this out the way. So how are y'all ladies doing today? This was one of our designs for August in the Inside Scoop Group, y'all. How stinking cute is that? I've got to add this one and paint it. I'm going to add it to the center. So, if you want to learn how to do these, y'all, the scoop is still open. So you can join if you like. We're going to get comfortable. Um, we're just going to get started, y'all. Pull that tag off. Again, it wasn't but $5.98. Hey, Miss Donna, Miss Michelle. Hey, Miss Terry, Kathy, watching while you're at work. Hey, Gina, you love that? All right, so I'm thinking about pulling this off. It's actually not centered, y'all. I know I can push it back in there. I don't know. I'm leaving on. I pulled it up a little bit so I can get my brush up under there. But it's not center, but we're gonna have a bow on there and we're gonna we're gonna work with it. So um one of um one of my friends, she used to be in the inside scoop group, or she is now, um, she painted one of these pumpkins and I thought it was beautiful and I was like, I'm going to have to do that. So I'm gonna scoot y'all down just a little bit. But as y'all hop on here, how about sprinkle the love for me by hitting a little button down below? I would appreciate it so, so very much. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do it, y'all. I'm going to start painting. I am going to start putting a, some design on here. We're going to do the checks. I'm not going to say what kind of checks because I know we can get in trouble for saying that. I'm just going to come, I'm kind of just drawing a guide. And y'all, I just eye everything. I'm not one that it has to be super perfect. So I'm just eyeing it. And I'm going to go straight across here on the other side. And we're going to add it, add that one here too. So I'm just doing a line straight in the middle of this section. With this pumpkin, there's a lot of different sections, y'all. A lot. And if I do every section with a certain design on it, we might be here all stinking day. So we're going to do some solid pieces. Let's see if that's sitting there. You won't be able to see if I don't, I don't know. Let me go ahead and put that there. So straight across. Let's do, let's do, let's do two more. I will pick this up in a minute and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Some of these lines are kind of crooked. But I'm probably going to straighten it up when I start painting it. Now we're going to go straight across this one. I have been wanting to do some crafting, y'all, other than just painting. I've been wanting to get creative and just craft. And then when I see Miss Karen's actually the one that posted it, when I seen Miss Karen post her pumpkin, I was like, ah, I want to do that. So can y'all see what I'm doing there? I'm just putting a straight line down and just going across with my lines. Hey, Jesse girl. Hey, Carla. Hey, Miss Vicki. Um, hey, Sarah. All right, 
so there's that. Now we're going to do, we are going to do a, just a stripe. How about if we do stripes in both of these sections here? Let's see, if we do stripes here in both of those, we have two more. No, let's not do, okay, we're going to, all right, let me see. We do one there. No, let's do it. Let's do it like diagonally instead of doing straight across. No, we're going to do it straight across. We ain't going to do it straight across. I mean, why not? Alright, so I want to go here and here. And we're going to do. I'm going to do a strike there. Again, y'all, I'm eyeing all this. So, if it's not completely straight, it's okay. If you're one that, you know, needs it to be perfect, then you can use a tape measure to kind of Get it straight if you want to. Alright, I'm not going to put one here. Or should I? Might as well. Might as well. Okay. So now we got the stripes there. Can y'all see it? Hey, Miss Kathy, Miss Tara, Miss Tom, um, Tony. Hey, Debbie. Alrighty, so we're going to go in here. We're going to get started with this. I'm going to find me a small paintbrush. Miss Teresa, you're on here. I still, I now have two, four, six jars of paintbrushes on my counter. If she lived closer to me, I believe she would probably come and probably wash these things out for me because it's probably driving her crazy. <laughs> Trying to find a small, um, here we go. A small, look at there, they even stuck together, y'all. That is pitiful. That is so sad. Good Lord. Good Lord. Okay, so here we go. We're going to grab up the black. Um, where's my other thing at? So he must be already took my, my thing here. I don't want to put my paint in. So it stays in a puddle. So I'm just going to grab. I'm going to grab. Just this regular paint palette here. So hopefully it don't, my paint don't dry real quick. And we're just going to get started on getting it. Getting the black on there, y'all. I'm gonna start up here at the top. It's going to take a little bit of time, y'all, because there's a lot going on here. A lot. You can probably do this, too, with a paint pen, y'all. That will be pretty with a paint pen. Probably a lot quicker, too, with a paint pen. A lot quicker. But we're going to use a paintbrush and we're going to create a pretty little pumpkin. A 
Oh lord. I just hit that with my finger, y'all. Did y'all see that? We're not going to stress about it. We're just going to roll with it. This is it so far. It's okay. I have all day and just love watching me. Oh, Miss Terry, thank you so much. Um, this is going to be so neat. Jesse, I hope it turns out good, though. Because I do want I do want to be hurry. It's a little bit time consuming, but I think we're going to be okay. I just have to go get the kiddos. I have to leave my house at at least by, I want to be off of here at least by 1.32. So I think we got plenty of time. I think we're going to, we're going to be okay. So with the bottom, I'm just going to kind of go like that, and I may wind up just doing a, a black circle on the bottom. So there's that one so far. And we're just going to move on, and we're going to do the, the rest of them that we have done. And I think I'm going to go to the opposite side with starting on the top with this one. How many of y'all have ever painted one of the little cheap pumpkins from the dollar store or from Walmart? Have y'all ever done anything else with them once you bought them? And if you have, what did you do with them? If you can get creative and do stuff like this, y'all, then when you see something but it's not in the colors that you want or it's not the style that you want, pick that sucker up and take it home anyway, and then you can redo it and paint it to be the colors that you need it to be to match like match your decorations or just to match your style. You can go to like the Goodwill and um, different places like that and find different things y'all, bring it home and paint it and spruce it up and it save you a lot of money too because a lot of this stuff that's that's painted like this professionally <laughs> um, it's pretty expensive so if you can do it yourself you will save yourself a lot of money and plus then you'll be so proud of it because you wouldn't be the one that actually done it I'm getting my finger all over this thing. What if Miss Karen's on here? Are you going to paint the whole pumpkin black and white? I think I know you well enough to know you love color. Uh, Miss Terry, I'm going to do I'm gonna do these sections here, um, probably in like a mustard yellow, and probably one in, I may do like that um, bluegrass green. So we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna add a pop of color. Gonna add a pop of color. So I just did that same thing on the bottom. So there it is so far. Hey, Miss Debbie. How are you doing? All right. So now I'm going to start. Oh, no, I'll start on this side.
this section seems to be a little bit smaller. And I'm just using a little small um, flat tip brush. Add some more names on my board, I mean my wall back there, y'all, because I've had some more members join. So I've got to add their names back there. So as soon as I get that done, don't think if you are one that's joined, don't think I forgot. I will be adding your name on my wall, and then I'll share a picture so you can see that your name's on the wall. So while I'm painting, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna talk to y'all about my inside scoop group. Um, so if you've never heard of it, my Inside Scoop Group, it is a monthly subscription. Um, and it is set up on reoccurring payments. But, because I know a lot of people, that scares a lot of people. But with the Scoop, you can cancel anytime you get ready to. I'm not going to hold you in there so you can come and try us out. And if you think that it's just not your thing and I'm not your cup of tea, then you can cancel anytime. Um, it is $40 a month. I do have an option to where you can pay for six months and get one month for free and a year and get two months for free. But I teach normally, I'm not on here a whole lot doing stuff like this. Normally I'm painting beautiful door hangers um, like stuff like this. So, and that's what I teach you inside of my scoop. I teach you two new designs every single month. And then we also do a craft where I teach you how to even go beyond just door hangers and play around with different wood and tools. I'm trying to concentrate, y'all. Um, that looks kind of funky on the bottom. Let me move my phone. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky because that's still wet. So we do a craft each month. This month for August, we are doing a lighted tree topper for our Christmas trees. Um, we're actually doing that this Thursday. So I will be live in there showing them how I would do my Christmas tree topper and build it. So I think that's going to be super, super fun. And when you join, you also get two over two years worth of templates and tutorials. So you will have a lot, a lot of videos to binge watch by becoming a new member. We have accountability groups in there for those of you that want to start a business and you need that extra push to kind of get you started or you need that extra help that um, to kind of lead you in the right direction on getting things done for your business. Inside the scoop, I do have a training on how to set up an Etsy page and how to revamp it to get your Etsy shop ready for this, um, the fourth quarter, like Christmas and fall. And there's also a training in there on how to set up a Facebook business page. So there's a lot of business. We talk about keywords, you know, SEO. Um, so there's all of that stuff in there too. Not to mention an amazing community of amazing ladies that are just always so willing to help. When you're stuck and you're feeling kind of blue and you just need somebody to tell you, you know, good job. They are always there for each other when it comes to that. Here. So there's that one. 
messed that up one. Alright, so that's my last checkered one. How cute is it looking so far? Hey ladies. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna do the stripes. My eyes are burning. Do y'all see how watery they got? They're like burning. Hey Amanda, hey Miss Tanya. Alright, so now let's come and let's do our stripes. Alright. I'm just gonna put that one up right there to that one. Just like that, I just butted it up. Oh, my nose now, my eyes are on water, it gets my nose to work and ruin. See how the stripes are coming along? Hey, Jill. It's kind of hard to hold her, y'all. It's a little bit hard to hold. This pumpkin didn't have any kind of gloss on it. It's really like a matte finish. So my paint is, it's taking my paint really, really good. Which is always a good thing, so. straighten out this stripe. So we've got the stripes there. I was thinking cute. Alright. Got my nose. It's wanting to run. Again, I'm not going to worry about the very top piece because we're going to add a bow up there, so it's not going to be showing anyway. So it's going to be okay. I guess let me, I could turn it this way a little bit. This gets kind of hard to hold. Might have been better for you to take the stem off than I could have laid it flat. Could have had it flat.
maybe I could just go ahead down with these. Like that. So here we go. See the white spot there. So we got two more stripes. So I'm really not putting these stripes exactly where I got my pencil mark because it's turning out that I wanted to go a little bit further down with them. So I'm hoping that I can come back with my eraser and get my pencil marks off. Let's hope so anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up making a mess with my paint here. Right, we ain't got one more thing of stripes to do, so... Who wants to go out and buy them a pumpkin to bring home the paint? Thank you, Miss Terry. So there's all of our stripes and our other little things. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm probably going to give this a quick little dry. I'm making these a little bit of a bigger brush. Let me see, where's my other brush? I'm making these this one. Now I'm going to do, 
I'm going to do like a mustard yellow. So we're going to get this golden sunset and I'm going to mix it with my primary yellow. And we're going to just kind of get like a mustardy yellow color. And we're going to paint. Two sections of mustard yellow color. And then I think I'm going to go with the blue, like I said, the bluegrass green, y'all. I'm going to get a little bit more primary yellow in there. And that's a whole lot of paint, y'all. It's probably way too much paint than what I need. Than what I need. All right, so I'm gonna, I am gonna blow dry this black real quick. I look for, for you for months. You couldn't find me. Oh no, you looked for me for months and couldn't find me. Well, I'm glad that you're here now, so yay. Okay, so now I'm going to just blow dry it, blow dry it really quick. And some of that black paint is like really, really wet, y'all. How is my view? Can y'all see me really good? I'll think it was great. Is the, 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 like, the picture, is it clear? I know a lot of times I have a hard time with my picture going in and out. But it's been doing better lately in my group. Hey, Miss Patricia. Looking good. Yay! I also have these leaves here. These are some burlap leaves. And then I also have these burlap leaves and some that's got the buffalo plaid on it. So we may add those on there. Then I do have the buffalo plaid ribbon. And then I have, um, I cannot say that word, y'all, but it looks like little diamonds and the word starts with an H. I do have that. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to use this on this pumpkin. All right, so now we're gonna take this mustard yellow and we're gonna go down one section here. And yeah, I'm loving that. put more than just one coat of this yellow on there, y'all. Now we're going to just go to the opposite side and we're going to do this one the same way.
anybody, anybody have any questions about my inside scoop group? Um, Because yeah. I would love to help you out if you're wondering and wanting to join, but just haven't been quite sure if it's going to be the group for you. I want to be able to answer any questions that's keeping you from giving us a try. you are a door hanger maker, then it's definitely the perfect group for you. Or if you're someone who watches other door hangers, door hanger makers paint, and you're always like, you know, you wish that you could do that, but you just don't know where to start, then it's definitely the group for you. Or, if this is your first time with me, and you're enjoying this, and you would love to do different things, then it's definitely the group for you. Hey, Miss Dot. Alright, so there's those two. Y'all, I love that. Let's give those a quick little drive because I'm getting it everywhere. Um, and that's going to need one more coat. My bottom's looking kind of like that. And it's fourth quarter. We've got some amazing designs that we're going to be doing. You don't want to miss out, y'all. You don't want to miss out. So this is the perfect time to give it a try. me you're just joining and this is your first time my name is Trina and I have been making look at that ladybug it's a green ladybug y'all with white it's a green ladybug with white paint on its back it's a craft ladybug I'm not gonna kill you ladybug but you can't stay on my hand a ladybug that's been crafted in some white paint. But I have been painting and selling door hangers for 10 years now. And I came across a business coach and was introduced to um, the subscription world, like where you can teach other people how to do the things that they love and the things that you do. And that's where, that's how I got started with my inside scoop group. I thought it would be super fun to be able to find other creative ladies who kind of enjoy, you know, the same thing that I do. And I can actually teach them all the things that I have learned along my way of cutting and selling the wooden door hangers. And I've always been like a crafty person. Like I've always loved just to, to do different things when it comes to crafts. And I wanted it to be a little bit more than just door hangers all the time. So we do a craft in that group each month as well. I believe it kind of reflects who I am too with doing the crafts. We decided to, or I decided not to do them for a little while in the scoop. And... My ladies, they have missed it, so we have brought it back. I mean, honestly, I've missed doing the missed doing the crafts like crazy too. 
So we are we brought it back. So we are now doing crafts in there again. And I just, you know, I thought it was the perfect way for me to be able to enjoy what I do and also teach other ladies to do the things too. Hey, Miss Dot, Miss Judy, Miss Annette. All right, so now, y'all, let's do, I want it bright. Let's do this bluegrass green, y'all. We're going to give it a good little shaky shake. So if you're, if you're a creator, like I said, then you've got to get your tail into the scoop so you can create and do all kinds of different things with us in there. And if you're not a creator, but you want to be, then you need to get your tails in the scoop too because we do all kinds of stuff in there. And I promise you, you will learn so many different things. It's pretty. I don't hold hardly, I mean, I don't hold nothing back. I try to give y'all, like, all the knowledge that I have. And the door hanger business, even the business end of it, I mean, I try to give you all that I know. I'm awful when it comes to not getting paint on me, y'all. It's almost like the group that's the jack of all trades. You get it all. So you don't have to do this group to get this and then join this group to learn how to do this. In the scoop, you'll learn how to do all the things with a jigsaw and all kind of other tools like the miter saw, using different drills, um, using different types of wood. And you get, like I said, over two years worth of crafts as well as the tutorials and templates because we have done the crafts for the past two and a half years as well. So you get all of that when you do join y'all. I love that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That just gives it the pop of color that it needs, right? We have done, like we don't do like simple, easy crafts. Sometimes we do. Like sometimes we have kept it kind of simple and just, just, you know, kind of have fun with different things. But, like, we've done some doozy of some crafts. Like, we've done the noodle boards in there. We've done, like, the, um, what do you call that thing, y'all? It's, it's the post that you can put on your porch and hang something on. We've done a, we've done several, um, different designs for, like, porch leaners. We've done... I will share some um, other projects that we've done because y'all see a lot of the door hangers that we do, but you may not have noticed all of the other crafts that we do in there as well. One more coat too, y'all. So I'm gonna give it a quick, quick little dry so we can put one more coat and move on. We're gonna be finishing this up. It needs glitter, Miss Vicky. I think you're right. You like those colors, Miss Cross? I think you're right. I think it must be glitter.
called the lemongrass green. So who wants to go out and buy the little pumpkin now to paint? Because y'all, this is this is super fun. This is like stress-free. You go do whatever you want to do. You don't have any kind of particular design or pattern that you're having to go by. You can just paint freely and do whatever colors that comes to your mind. Well, let me see if I just hit that over there. All right, y'all. Miss Teresa, what about another color between the, the stripes? We could do another color between the stripes. How about a red? Like a burgundy. That would be pretty. And that would break up, break up the black and the white, I think, too. So, I think that's a good idea, Miss Terry. Let's do, I'm going to do this barn red, which is kind of watery. Let's hopefully, hopefully it is still covered with it. And we will. We'll go ahead and we'll put some stripes. Stripes of, whoa, no, 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 no. That one's not going to work. That color is too, that one's too watery. Too stinking watery. All right, so that one's not going to work. Let's get, let's grab, I'm going to grab this spice berry. Spice berry is not too watery because it's pretty, it's kind of, it's too thick. So I'm going to mix the spice berry with that barn red to kind of loosen up that, that paint because it is thick, thick. Okay. So here we go. We're going in with it. You see how the red's going to look? It's kind of, it's, it's a dark red. I think it may look a little bit darker on camera though than what it really is. Definitely gonna have to have some more coats. Um, how about if we did? We're gonna do that red there. Then let's let's. I mean, why stop there? Let's go. We're gonna do a spice pumpkin. We're gonna do the spice pumpkin. This orange. In between one color. We'll do it here.
guys poking them here. Okay, so if we do the spice poking there. Do the red there. Let's do the spice pumpkin here, and then we'll do the red there, and then that'll be enough colors. And then I am going to add the gold. As well. Y'all think the spice pumpkin looks better? don't have too much of a grip on this pumpkin. I guess if I could dry each step before I move to the next step, that would probably be a lot easier. But we're not doing that. All right, so both of those has got to have another coat. So what we got to do is we now have to come and dry these. So we can put one more coat on there. And I got some orange on my blue there, y'all. I think that made it look, make it, I think the spice pumpkin made it look like Halloween. Good morning, Miss Wanda. When y'all see me holding my blow dryer on there, I am hitting it with that little cool button so it's not heat. I would not hold it in one spot if I had my heat on there. It will bubble up and it will probably mess the pumpkin up if I held it like that with the heat.
there's a second coat with the red. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hey, Miss Susie. Janet. Hey, Miss Janet. I really enjoy your tutorials on lettering. Thank you so much. Oh, Miss Janet, you're so welcome. If you have any questions, though, while you're in there, just let me know. Be sure to also print out the printable practice sheets. Those help a lot, too. Um, so, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that because in my inside scoop group too, there is a whole module of hand lettering where I teach you step by step on how to hand letter. And I'll give you like printable practice sheets that you can practice hand lettering each of the letters, uppercase and lowercase, when you become an insider. So that is worth it right there, I think. One of the best parts about that, my particular modules that I have in there for hand lettering, is it was during the time that I was learning how to hand letter myself. So I took my ladies in there right along with me, and we all just kind of learned it together. And I think we're all getting better and better the more we're, we practice it, because of course we're hand lettering y'all. Practice is a must. You've got to practice that hand lettering to get it better. Okay. Now I've got to come and I've got to fix some little area, y'all that has, like with my blue there, I got some orange on my blue, so I'm gonna pick my blue up and go over where that orange hit it at. And where that red. All right, let me look on the other one. I think the other one's pretty good besides pretty good besides that one little spot there. Um, I think I am going to get my black and probably straighten out those lines a little bit. I bought the fish to have because I'm very interested in love it when it's high school. Yay, Miss Janet! Yeah, that book made all the difference in the world. And she's talking about Danielle's book um, with Imperfect. Imperfect Dust. Yes. So I'm so glad that you're finding all that helpful. Like I said, girl, if you get in there, you just need some extra help, just let me know. I'm coming, I'm going to straighten up my lines with my black where I did these stripes out because my color kind of went a little too far over. And that is it's kind of bothering me, so. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. To, I mean, the red's okay because red's kind of so dark too. You really can't can't tell. But that orange is really How many of y'all caught Jesse on here last night? Oh, crap. I got it on my... I did it on the orange. I just love me some Jesse. Jesse does so much um, 
in the Inside Scoop group with our ladies in there. She is so inspirational. She has been one that I have seen grow so much when it comes to her painting and her lettering. I just love me some Jessie girl. And Jessie is actually um, a group, our group manager in the scoop. And she's the one that sends out reminders to let you know, you know, that we have this tutorial today or we're doing this at this time. So she's one that makes sure that everybody knows what's going on in the scoop. But if you did not catch her live last night on here, she'll be below this one. Um, Y'all go watch it on the replay and do a hashtag replay and say hello to her there. Okay, so this is it so far. It's a beautiful color, y'all. You saw Jesse last night, yay! Uh, you did too, Miss Grace. Trina, where did you buy the pumpkin? Miss Terry, I got this pumpkin from Walmart. Straighten it out again. I did, Katina. You, why are you on here? You are to be working. It is what time? One thirty-three. I need to find out who your boss is and let them know that you're on Facebook during your job. Out here bothering somebody. <laughs> so let's get us a quick little drive. And we're gonna add the gold. We're gonna paint the stem gold. And Baby. <laughs> Alright, so I want to use, I'm going to try this treasure gold, y'all. I've heard people say that it's just as good as the liquid gold, or they like it just as much as the liquid gold. So we're going to give it a go, and we're going to see what it does. Woo, Lord have mercy. And then one thing about the liquid gold is the calf on there would get like shut down and you cannot get that thing open. Or I can't. Alright, so I'm gonna grab me up a just a round tip brush. Have a small one. And we're gonna go down in the center of each of our sections here. Let me use that. That liquid gold would cover up some stuff, y'all. I mean, it's not bad. But it's definitely not as good as the liquid gold. I don't even know if y'all can see that on there. liquid gold left, but I can't get the daggone thing to open, y'all. I can't get it to open. Yeah, this is not as good as the liquid gold. Or the coverage is not there like the liquid gold is. Yeah, I 
have to do another coat with this one. I see it so far. It's just a little line in the center of each section. It's showing a pretty it's, it's showing pretty good on the camera. Is it? We're good. And I'm not trying to get this like completely straight, y'all. I'm just like going in the center of it, just like this, those sections, and just pulling it down. I'm glad it's showing up good in the camera because it's not, I mean, it's not the prettiest coverage at all. That, if y'all ever did liquid gold, y'all, liquid gold will go over black like nothing else. So now I'm just going to come and put like some little spots on my, like where my black and white's at. Probably going to put a little bit like on my black there, like on my black stripes. And now, I don't even think, I mean, that don't even smell like liquid gold. I need to dry brush a little bit of white. Can I ask where you got the pumpkin? You might have already said, but I have, okay, Miss uh, Patricia, I got it from Walmart for $5.98. $6. Thank you, Miss Grace. Yep, from the Walmart. The Walmart. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white here. I'm going to get it off my paintbrush. We're just going to dry brush a little bit of white on our little checks. that. You can even come and not do that because I went straight into that gold. You need to come and like put a little bit in your, your black, your black stripe. Just kind of mark it up a little bit, give it a little bit more going on. And you know if I don't stop, I keep on adding and adding and adding and adding. I'm going to put a little bit of white, dry brushing it into my yellow and my, my blue there, just to kind of pull it all together, y'all. All right, so just like that. I like it. Thank you, Jessie girl. All right, so now I closed that up, but I needed that. We're going to put, <coughs> we're going to go 
in with this. Um, to do our stem because we can't have that ugly stem now. That's an ugly stem. Thank you, Miss Carol. What about the stem? See, Katina, I'm getting there. I am getting there, girl. All right, so now we're going to paint that stem just solid gold. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to paint it solid gold. Yeah, y'all, this is not, this is not as good as the liquid gold. I'm sorry, but it is not. If you've ever used liquid gold, I mean, it may do better on wood, but on this, it has not impressed me at all. So I would definitely have to try it on wood and see if it's better. Alright, so we're going to give this a dry, and then we're going to have to do another coat on this stem because that coverage is not the best. Now it's popping. a lot brighter y'all. Thank you Star. So when it's dried the look of it I do like it finished. So that's a good thing. It does dry to be really really shiny. There's the pretty little stem. Oh, I like it. I hope that's not like liquid gold. Liquid gold, you have to use like paint thinner to rinse your brush out. Oh, well, if it is. All right, let's give it one more dry. The nose, y'all, the nose. Let me go grab my bow dabber. 
in my floor wire. I got this one. This is the one that's broke. And I got my old scissors because my other scissors is downstairs. And we're going to do a little bow. A little bow making here to add on to our pumpkin. And maybe that stem can be dry while we're doing this. Um, yeah, one, one side of this bow dabber is broke. I don't know where my other two are. I've got two more. And I don't see neither one of them. Which if y'all see this craft room, y'all will understand why I'm not seeing why I'm not seeing another one anywhere. Y'all, my craft room, this is terrible up here. I've got like a walkway going out my door and everything else is just going crazy. Um, I got a bow dabber from watching you and I love it. Yay, Star! I love my bow dabber girlfriend. I love it. It is the best thing ever to make bows with. It's fast and easy and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, I'm going to do... Should I do just two? No, I think we need... Let's do three. I'm going to do three. We're going to do an odd number here. No, I can't do just three. We're gonna do. We're gonna do four. We're gonna do four. If these dull scissors are even cut, y'all. They are so dull, I don't even think they're going to cut this. That is a shame. That ain't no sense in dull scissors. Good Lord. Alright. So now... Let's do, once we get this on here, I would like, I don't know y'all, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, you are y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much, Miss Grace. I think I'm gonna take this one, this tail over on that side, and have a tail hanging over on this side. And we're just gonna lift this boat up. I did do these pretty big because I mean, who don't like a big fluffy, funky bow? I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to be kind of crazy. Okay, so that's still pretty. back down all the way because y'all know I was trying to pull it out at first. Um, and we're probably going to put like this bow kind of like here. Y'all. Probably going to trim these ribbons up a little bit. Not much though. But we're going to trim those, ribbon, those ribbons up a little bit. Let's see which size pull it is. Which side is the prettiest? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this side. This side's the prettiest. And so our bow will be here. I'm not gonna glue it because I do. I am gonna seal this because I want this to be shiny, shiny, shiny. So are y'all thinking? These? No, see that blends in too much. Nope. 
We may not put no leaves. We may just put the bow there. And I may add some greenery. Let's try, I don't know. Let's try. I'll take that green. I could put my podge. I could put my podge on these and then add gold glitter, y'all. Yes. So we have this. I'm going to mod podge this and glitter it up with gold and have that one, one steel and then one leaf there, y'all. What do y'all think? I think it kind of needs to all just. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to do this. I know I've been over here way too long, y'all. Oh, crap. I don't have no trophy gold. I do have this very fine gold. Which it may work, y'all. We'll try. Let's see. I'll put a whole bunch of Mod Podge on here. We're going to get this piece of paper. We're going to sprinkle that glitter all over that leaf. I'm actually going to flip it down and just start mashing it on there so we can get it good on that leaf. Even the back has Mod Podge on it, so why not go ahead and get it on the back as well? The more glitter, the better it is, right? Alright, so there's that. So what we will do is we will have our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bow right here. And then we're going to have this gold leaf sticking out from somewhere. Somewhere, y'all. I'm not quite sure yet. And I may not even use the bow because it sure is a lot, ain't it? I might have should have made it smaller. But anyway. So, yep, this is it, y'all. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I will post a picture of it when I'm completely done. Um, sorry, I think the bow may be a little big. Yeah, I'm thinking the bow may be a little too big, too. But um, I will post a picture once it's done. may not be. Well, I know it will be today. It might be later on this week. Um... 
And then I probably just use this water-based polyacrylic protective finish to go over it a few times to seal it and to maybe give it a shine. Um, so yeah. So I hope this has inspired y'all to go buy you a little pumpkin from Walmart or the Dollar Tree or wherever you can find one. Take it home and get creative with it and have fun and create your own little fall decor. How about just the leaves? Just the leaf. This leaf will bend, so we can bend it. It has got a thing in there, so I could stick it. Well, maybe not. But we could have the leaf hanging, kind of like that. I love the bow, it's a tad bit, but what a fun project. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make me a smaller bow. Use this bow for something else. Although, y'all know I'll be loving me some big bows, so. I don't know. Once I get it going, and I may wind up using this big, chunky bow once it's attached to it. And then we've got the leaf there. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see, y'all. All right, so ladies, I will see y'all again one day this week. I'm not sure what day it'll be, but um, I'm thinking I'm going to take a pumpkin and I'm going to paint it like this as a door hanger. What do y'all think about that idea? Painting a door hanger with this design on it with these same colors. I think that would be pretty, y'all. So... We're going to do that one day this week. I hope y'all tune in. Y'all be sure to spread the love for me and get me across Facebook. And if you have not joined the Inside Scoop yet, go ahead and join. Give us a try. And I'll be seeing y'all in the scoop, hopefully, and one day this week. All right. Bye, ladies.